Okay, this is called the inverted spin. I'm going to get yourself some altitude and enter it inverted, obviously. That's why it's called an inverted spin. Okay, you want to get the nose up, get the airplane stalled, and then you add rudder and aileron to get the airplane into a inverted spin, and then when, make sure you leave yourself plenty of altitude to get back out. Okay, let's go up and get some more altitude and try it again. Okay, you get it set there, you pull the throttle out of it. You add the down elevator to get it stalled, and then you add the rudder and the aileron to get it to spin. Okay, make sure again you leave yourself plenty of altitude to get out and fly away. Now keep in mind that, that in a normal upright spin, the, your rudder and aileron are going the same direction with up elevator. Now in an inverted spin, your everything is going to be backwards. If you notice I'm getting stopped here, slow it down. I'm adding right rudder and left aileron and full down elevator to get get the airplane to spin. And again, leave yourself plenty of room to get some altitude to clear back out. We'll do it, come in here a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, we got the altitude. You start upside down, inverted. Okay, add down, ele down elevator, aileron, and rudder. And again, leave yourself plenty of room to get back out. That's the inverted spin.